Please enjoy this talk given at the Austin Center for Spiritual Living, where we live and teach the principles of science of mind and spirit. For more information, visit austincsl.org. Good morning to you once again. Before we get started in what I'm going to be talking about here this morning, and it's on, it's on the theme of of motivation, and motivation is something that begins within. I, I I was sent a group of little sayings by somebody. I got in the email just recently, and uh, a couple on here that are uh, are very relevant, I think, to where we're going this morning. Um, and then there are a couple of others that uh, that I just kind of think are amusing, and so I, I want to give you one of those. Some minds are like concrete, thoroughly mixed up and permanently set. Isn't that neat? And then, quit griping about your church. It was If it was perfect, you couldn't belong. <laughs> but the ones that really give us a start here this morning are kind of a segue into what I'm going to be talking about <clears throat> is this. Don't give God instructions. Just report for duty. Isn't that needy? You know, uh, I had a good friend, a minister, that used to use the, the expression, said, just show up and take your assignment. And I like that because so much are, so many of us are here to tell God how to do things when the fact of the matter is, let's show up sometime and take the assignment. Yes, we have choice in order to be able to direct our course in life. That's the way we're created. But also, there's a guiding power within us if we just allow it to express in our life. And this is directly in line with an awful lot of what I'm going to be talking about. In line with what I'm going to be talking, I always talk about. And then the other thing that is so powerful to me is the task ahead of us is never as great as the power behind us. Mm. Do we really believe that? On occasion, I have been asked by somebody who's approached me and, and, and said, Richard, I would, I would like very much for you to uh, come to our group, a civic group, our group, or whatever, and give a motivational talk. And I look at him and I say, sorry, I can't do that. I said, what do you mean you can't do that? I understand you're a motivational speaker. I says, no, I'm not a motivational speaker, if by that you mean I'm supposed to go there and motivate you. Have any of you ever gone to sales meetings to be motivated? And the, your sales manager or whoever the guest presenter is gets up and gives you all of this stuff and gets you all hyped up and you're ready to go. You go out and you sell great for the first four hours on the first day. And then by next week, you have to go to back to another motivational meeting. Well, that's really the way that is. And I, I tell them, no, I says, I cannot motivate anybody. I can only hope to inspire people by something that I may say might trigger an awareness within them, or a new idea that may help to change their perception of things. That's a lot of words to say what I do, but it's really simply to present an idea that may resonate at some level within. And then out of that, there can become that which gets our moving. Um, motivation, simply, there are a lot of definitions. I looked them up. I have a whole sheet full at home, and I decided not to come and bore you with some of the motivations, uh, uh, the definitions of motivation. But I thought about it, and I think that um, motivation is just what gets us to do what we want to do. And it's that simple. And the thing, the realization that I've come to is that every, everyone is motivated. Everyone is already motivated. And if you don't know the effects of the motivation in your life, look at your life. Because you see, I think there's what we might call positive motivation and negative motivation. That is motivation that moves you to do things that add value to your life, to the lives of others, to the context within which you live. And then there's motivation that kind of extracts it, or at the very best, is just neutral, normal, does nothing. You say, well, how can that be motivation? That's to get you moving. Well, a lot of people need to get moving or want to get moving to do nothing. Or they get so busy, they're moving in all so many different directions that nothing results as a result of that. Um, 